So, gusto mo maglaw? At gusto mo pumasok sa University of the Philippines? Then you have to take the UP LAE. Paano yun may papasa? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon para hindi nyo miss yung mga papalating pa lang ng mga uploads. Now, bakit natin pag-uusapan yung UP LAE? Kasi marami sa inyo nag-request na gumawa ako ng video on this, lalo na dahil uh, iba ang sistema ng UP and hindi sila kumukuha ng students right off of Philsat lamang. So there is a specific exam for you to take if you want to go into UP law. Now to build a little bit of credibility then on my part, I can say these things mainly because number one, I took the test in 2014 and number two, I actually passed the test without interview. That's something that a lot of people may not know about me. Well, maliban doon sa mga naging kaklase ko talaga sa UP Law. Uh, pero I was in UP Law for about a year and uh, I left to do YouTube full-time and to teach full-time. One thing kasi na you have to think about ngayon pa lang, uh, kahit hindi ka pa nag UP Law eh, is you have to think kung gaano mo ka gusto na maging lawyer and specifically maging UP law student. And uh, I guess maybe I didn't want it enough and I wanted this more than that. So when I was given a choice kung uh, tutuloy ko pa ba or mag-focus na lang ako sa pag-board exam for psychology and pagtuturo online, uh, I actually chose this path. And I don't regret that, no? Kasi yun ang, yun ang kwento ko. And I guess being a lawyer is something that will always be, I mean, something that I would look forward to. Maybe in the future, pag medyo malaya-laya na yung aking schedule, I can go back to law school. Maybe. And, uh, but that's another story and another decision for another day. Right now, my focus is helping you guys to achieve your dream. Kasi one thing I realized is, if I become a lawyer, that would be me fulfilling one dream which is mine, but now that I, I do this, I get to help other people fulfill their own dreams. And I've had students na, alam nyo, nasa law school na, may mga magbabar na, uh, since I started making videos, so I'm really happy about that, okay? So, huwag nyo muna ako itindihin, problemahin natin yung UP lae. If you're watching this video and you found this on YouTube, you are either number one, part of the Team Laika Notification Squad. So, represent guys. Hi, hello sa inyong lahat. Like, kahit yung hindi maglalae pero nanonood pa rin. Number two, because you actually type sa Google search bar or sa YouTube search bar yung UP Lae Tips or UP Lae Review. Kaya napadpad kayo dito sa aking munting channel. Now, if you are planning to take the UP Lae, ito yung mga maipapayo ko sa inyo as someone who took it and managed to, by the grace of God, actually pass the exam. Tip number one, you have to master your fundamentals. Fundamentals when it comes to language, which I think you expect. Fundamentals when it comes to your logic, which I think you also expect. And one thing that not a lot of people expect, you have to master your fundamentals when it comes to math. Now, not a lot of people are prepared for this, lalo na yung mga galing sa ibang mga universities coming into this. Kasi maraming mga aspiring UP law students ang nasa mga courses na hindi masyadong kailangan yung math. So, yung mga nag-polsay, public administration, legal management, na hindi sobrang detailed yung college algebra nila or hindi sila masyadong mahilig sa math, kaya nga sila napunta sa mga courses na yon. The problem with UP LAE is, at least during my time, there was this math section and I think it's still there. And one thing na na-overlook ng mga tao na naging master na ng language is yung math part. Kasi hindi nila naaralan, nakalimutan na nila, high school topics pa ito, you have your algebra, word problems, mixture problems, and uh, other word problems na maaaring nakalimutan yun na. Pero lalabas siya sa exam. And what's even worse is that the time is actually ridiculous. Um, sobrang, kung wala kang baon ng mga speed math techniques, maubusan at maubusan ka ng time. I remember during my time, medyo nakalayo-layo talaga ako sa math. Uh, the reason for that is kasi, nagtuturo na talaga ako ng civil service review noon, uh, part-time, and yun, I just really love math. So, one of the things na narinig ko dun sa mga tao na, ng pagkatapos na pagkatapos ng UP LAE is, 
yun nga, nagulat sila sa math. Hindi nila expect na may mga ganong klaseng tanong. So, now that I can tell you that, guys, mag-prepare, mag-prepare na kayo, I will also put up a link up dun sa aking playlist on math lessons right here. Hopefully, makatulong yun sa inyo. Kasi speed ang batayan. Now, this is a perfect segue dun sa ating tip number two. Tip number two, you have to manage your time really well. I already have a video specifically on this topic, how to manage your time pagdating sa exam. And I will link that right here na lang din for you to catch up if you haven't seen that yet. Pero ang UP la ay kasi is a, a lot like UPCAT din. Maliban sa walang, walang science, no? It's a lot like UPCAT, pero it's like UPCAT on steroids. Yun yung description ko sa kanya. Bakit on steroids? Kasi isipin niyo yung mga nakulangan dyan or nabitin sa time sa, sa UPCAT, mas konti pa yung time pagdating sa UP la eh. It's ridiculous. As in, 40 items in math ang binigay lang 15 minutes or 10 minutes lang yata. It's sobrang short. Lalo na yung sa logic part. As in, I think the design was never dis- was never meant for people to finish it. Yun talaga yun. Pabilisan talaga ang batayan pagdating sa UP lae. Eh. And like most, di ba, na mga exams, then you have to weigh yung consequences ng choices ninyo. Kung may consequence ba ang panguhula, masy- paging masyadong mabilis, paging masyadong mabagal. All of these things kailangan ninyong kunin. Kasi reasoning talaga and analysis ang kailangan. Which actually makes sense. Kasi syempre ang wini-read out natin are people na uh, hindi kaya yung life sa loob ng law school. And ang analysis at reading naman talaga is a big part of being in law school. So expect long passages na may tigitigisa o tigdadalawang question lamang. At kung mabagay ka magbasa, may iiwan at may iiwan ka. If you want to compare Philsat to you, Pilae, from my experience, honestly, ano, ang Philsat ay a walk in the park. Napakadali niya compared sa you, Pilae. So kung kunyari, you found yung Philsat already challenging, you really have to brush up on your reading skills dahil mas mabilis pa di hamak yung UP lae. Real talk lang yun talaga. And pagdating sa math, it will actually ask you for more information. Calculation, kailangan yun na mabilis kayo. So, uh, ang time talaga ang pinaka number one yung problema. Tip number three, ask yourself, do you really want to get into UP? And I say that with weight, no? Kasi... It's really something that you have to consider. Just looking at the mere statistics, sa dami ng mga taong gustong makapasok sa UP because of, syempre, medyo mas affordable naman talaga yung tuition at syempre, UP yun, as University of the Philippines, the University of the Philippines, and yung kwalidad din naman talaga ng mga professors ay hindi basta-basta. Uh, marami talaga. Marami. Sobrang dami lang gustong maging uh, UP law students and uh, nandyan na yung mga people who have Fraternity, sororities, an entire support system, a family of lawyers, no? An apelido that everyone knows. All of these people magiging kalaban ninyo for slots. Yung mga cum laude, magna cum laude ng legal administration ng multiple colleges all over the country, all of them will be vying for the same slot na gusto mo. So, mahigpit ang competition. Now, it's not like civil service exam na pagdating mo ng 18 years old, anyone can take it. Honestly. Kasi wala namang nagtitake ng UP lain ng trip-trip lang. Okay? Most of the people who take that are really serious about it. Gusto talaga nila mag-UP and meron silang credentials to boot. Most of them already past yung upcat to start with already finished sa UP so merong onting leg up na rin dun sa ganun i honestly didn't expect anything nung nagtake ako ng UP lae eh. ang reason for that was because uh, yun nga hindi naman ako hindi ko naman tinapos yung bachelor ko sa sa UP so i actually went to UP nakapasa naman ako upcat tapos nag UP ako for one and a half years then i left nag ma, nag bachelor ako sa ibang school bumalik ako and then i just tried for UP College of Law uh, naglae ako ng wala expectations ang may alam lang na mag-exam ako was my younger sister kasi siya yung nag-file ng application ko at kumuha ng form um, and then nag-exam lang ako ang prayer ko nun was Lord kung magiging lawyer ako or design mo for me to get into law school papasa ako if hindi then hindi ako papasa ganun lang talaga wala akong masyadong walang stakes sa akin wala akong pinagtika na ibang college walang kahit ano so the fact na pumasa ako without interview I took that as a sign and then I went into UP College of Law Yun yung story ko. Pero kung ikaw, kung ikaw talaga yung gusto mo talaga maging career lawyer, as in yun talaga yung gusto mo, you may have to think of other ways. Now, one of the choices you can make would be to find a fallback school. Um, marami namang ibang colleges dyan, marami ibang law schools dyan that you can choose from. 
na gumagawa rin talaga ng mga bar top, not sure sa't magagaling ng mga abogado. So, you may want to take exams din sa iba-ibang mga colleges at universities. Okay? That can be an option for you. Now, kung ikaw naman ay desidido at hellbent ka na maging UP College of Law student at dun ka talaga gumraduate ng law, makuha mo yung jury sa doctor mo na meron kang UP header, why not? Okay? Pero, again, just be realistic about it. There is a possibility talaga na you won't get in your first try. Uh, marami sa mga batchmates ko, nabalitaan ko lang ha, ang nag-take ng multiple times, meron na mga, mga, na mga, mga sumuko rin at uh, nag-exam na lang sa ibang college, pero they're all doing well naman. So, hindi naman yung lae ang mag-e-end ng lawyer dreams mo. Okay? Just be ready with that. Kasi don't be too disappointed kung hindi ka papa sa the first try. Um, kasi nga, kalaban mo halos lahat ng magagaling. Okay? Mga titulado na yan, mga yan. May mga, may mga Latin honors din naman din lahat. So, nung pumasok ako doon, sabi ko, wala namang silbi talaga, honestly, na may Latin honors ako. Kasi everyone else, of course, meron din. And mas graduate sila ng mas malalaki mga universities kesa doon sa college na pinanggalingan ko. So, yun lang. Just be realistic about that. Yun yung number three. Kasi it's a psychological game more than anything else. Tip number four. Research, research, research. Mag-research kayo when it comes to the requirements. Paano mag-file? Ano ang uh, kailangan? Ano ang mga gagawin? Ano ang mga dadalhin? Okay? Now, just a piece of pro advice. Don't even bother bringing food or drinks sa venue, sa araw ng exam. Don't bother. Mapapagod ka lang. Uh, there's no way na may makakain pa sa bilis ng exam na yon. And take it from me. You know, I've taken multiple tests in my life. Done quite a bit well uh, in most of them and uh yeah the exam is ridiculously ridiculously difficult pagdating sa time management so wag ka na magbaon ng baon wala na mo makakain din and um uh, yeah just be kind then on the day itself kasi uh all of you will be struggling sa exam i actually find it um a little bit amusing that i get to speak to you guys who are aspiring na magtake ng lae no Kasi yung lie experience ko was a little bit funny. Um, again, no one knew that I was, uh, I was taking the exam. So, binulong ko lang kay Papa on the day itself na, Pa, can you bring me to UP? Uh, kasi may exam ako. Tapos nagulat siya kasi hindi niya nga alam. At uh, kailangan ko magpahatid kasi wala namang sasakyan. Uh, wala, mahirap mah ang makaharap ng sasakyan at sasakyan sa UP kapag may mga exams na ganito. So, I was there early, everything. And then, once tapos na yung exam, everyone was dazed. Nakakatawa kasi sa front ko, dun sa row sa harap ko, ang mga nag-exam was an entire row ng mga magkakaibigan. So, for some reason, magkakakilala sila, kinuwenta nila yung buhay nila. Alam niyo yun, yung mga nagchichikahan na medyo may onting payabang. Uh, Nagaling daw sila sa Arneo, tapos uh, magmumovie daw sila after, chika-chika sila, ganyan. Oh, did you prepare? Ganyan-ganyan. Uh, nagbasa ka ba? Ganyan-ganyan. So, chika sila na chika. Nagtitinginan kami nung katabi ko kasi we were thinking ano ba <laughs> ang ingay nitong mga to. So, after ng exam, lahat kami same yung reaction which was which was this, no? Basically, pinak namin yung gamit namin and then naglakad kami out of the room in silence. Dead silent. Even yung mga girls na yon na chit chatty sila, they're very young, kaya I understand, no? Siguro fresh grad din sila. Ang daldal nila, di ba? Coming in, may mga plano sila, magka-coffee sila dito, manonood sila ng sine, ganyan-ganyan. Pero hindi sila nag-uusap after the exam. Para kaming lahat sinapak, okay? Para kami alam niyo yun, sinampal ka sa realidad na akala mo magaling ka na, pero hindi. Which is actually the entire law school experience. So we were walking, Tulala kami lahat, para kami yung horde ng zombies. As in, tas may nakita akong kakilala ko, hindi kami nagbatian. Gumanon lang ako, ako gumanon lang din siya. Tas kahit na magkapitbahay kami, hindi kami sabay umuwi. Naglakad kami na magkahiwalay. Tulala kami lahat. So, yun yung lie experience ko. And possibly, ganun din ang mararanasan ninyo. So, just be sensitive dun sa mga makakasabay nyo din sa exam. Lahat kayo may pagdadaanan sa araw na yon. Pero don't think na dahil hindi ka confident coming out of it, eh, hindi ka makakapasa. Kasi nung natapos din ako mag-exam, wala akong expectation. Kasi, ano eh, ang hirap talaga. Ang, ang ikli talaga nung time. So, hindi ko in-expect na, na makakapasok ako. Kasi walang way for me to gauge na I did well or not. Usually kasi, katulad sa civil service exam, I was one of the first people, and actually, I was one of, <laughs> I may be uh, the first person who finished the exam. Um, nagmamadali kasi kami. So, pagkatapos na sa exam, nabas na ako, nabas na yung mga kapatid ko, umalis na kami kasi may lakad pa kami nung hapon na yun. So, kahit pa paano nag-gauge ko na, ah, okay, kaya ko yung exam kasi marami akong time for feels at the same. So, 
uh, tapos na ako, I think, an hour and a half into the exam. So, medyo nakapag-relax pa ako and everything. Ang UP Lai was the first exam I took na, na, na nauubusan ako ng time. Ganon siya ka-ridiculous. Ganon ka-ikli yung time. So, hindi ko maisip na i-double check pa lahat ng mga sagot ko or anything. Kasi, wala, maikli masyado yung time. So, hindi ko alam kung anong, kung if I did well or anything like that. So, wala ko expectations. And because of that, nung dumating yung news na nakapasa ako, it was actually doubly happy. Kasi, yun nga, feeling ko, hindi ako nag eh. So, huwag kayong masa sa feelings ninyo. Na parang, ay, hindi ako, hindi ako confident or anything like that. Wala sa feelings yun, guys. Hintayin nyo yung actual na list ng mga students. And then, pick up yung, yung news after that and uh, run away with it. Now, if you didn't make it or if you don't make it uh, sa yung first try or even your second try, I actually have a playlist for you guys. Uh, you can use my Philset Review playlist for for the lae din. And a couple of my other videos, I'll just link them here. And if you pass naman, I suggest that you get to know Kuya Lex. If you don't know him, he's Lex in Motion. Meron sa siyang channel right here sa YouTube. I'll link his his channel right here then in the description box below. Hanapin nyo, Lex in Motion. He helps students through law school. So he tries to make yung mga complicated na mga uh, things about law school a little bit simpler. And meron siya actually videos for aspiring law students na papasok pa lang sa law school, including yung costs, what to buy, what to prepare, what to study. And uh, I will link the videos here and dito na lang din sa taas to help you. Alright, so I guess that's it muna for now. Hindi ko muna hihimayin ng sobra. But if you have any specific questions about the LAE or Philset or law school, comment yun na rin sa baba. And if I can't answer it, I'll just send it over to Kuya Lex so he can answer it sa kanyang channel. Alright, so thank you guys. And I hope kahit papaano may napulot kayo dito sa video na ito. Hindi ko na masyadong ilantad ng buong buo yung experience ko kasi 2014, that was a few years back na. And uh, medyo nag-transition ako eh. After, after UP Law, my life ano eh, really changed. Medyo nilamon na <laughs> ng aking YouTube creator life yung the rest of my life. So, um, I guess yun nga, at the end of the day, that's all you can do eh. You just have to try uh, your very best. And if you don't make it, just regroup, study, review, Study better, study smarter, and then try harder next year. Yun yung talaga ultimately may advice ko sa inyo. Okay? Ang uh, UP Lae naman, hindi yan sukatan ng talino. Hindi yan sukatan ng galing. Uh, you can even say, hindi yan sukatan ng success as a lawyer in the future. So, uh, like many other things, it's just one step sa inyong entire journey. So, don't let that one thing bring you down. If you really want to be a lawyer, there are many ways. There are many colleges. There are many tries then. For you to get in and uh, this is just part of it all right so thank you guys for watching i hope may napulot kayo dito if you like the video like share din sa friends ninyo kung may matutulungan tayong iba don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit that bell icon para makabalita pa kayo ng mga susunod pa nating mga videos and if you want to reach out to me directly get the reviewers that i made join the online or live review events you can go to www.facebook.com slash team laika Thank you guys, and kung kayo ay magtitake talaga ng lae, God bless you, kaya nyo yan. Just do your best, uh, pray, practice, pray more, <laughs> and actually throughout law school, you'll be doing a lot more of that. Maybe more on those soon. If you're interested for me to talk about my, my UP law experience, comment nyo na lang din sa baba. Very limited, pero medyo eventful din naman. I'll talk about that in the next video. Alright? Thanks guys for watching. As we always say dito sa Team Never Stop Learning. Aja-aja. Kain yan. And see you in the next video. And bye for now.